<sighs> okay, <laughs> it's King of May. I've been really trying to catch up on these beers. I did take a break for a few days and uh, I'm pacing myself. So if you see the shirt for a few of them, it's just, I'm doing my best to hold my composure. Um, great divide, I make great beers. <sighs> Can't remember, you know, okay. Uh, Denver, Colorado. Anyways, uh, the whole point was a solid hazy. Uh, since obviously I had a bunch of hazies, you didn't know that, but I knew that. So here's another hazy in case you're just, you know, discovering really who you are as an IPA person. Uh, it's not for everybody. So ones that don't, you can't I understand. I am not going to be a uh, snob and trying to push it on you. There's very few things that you really can't have. Honestly, allergy wise, peanuts and gluten, I'm not going to fight you because that can kill you. That actually destroys you. You know, it's a, so that's one thing I will make. It's not funny. I just definitely will find out if it's like uh, milk. Cause like everyone has one or two things and it's just inconvenient and that's okay. Depending on what it is, I'm not just gonna give it to you, but you know, by all means, live your life. I'm not here to make you live a certain way. I definitely wanna have my free way of living. Uh, but there are some that are really just bad that can hurt you. So <clears throat> uh, cilantro for people that don't like it, I don't argue. For some reason, uh, you're super sensitive taster to a certain chemical that I obviously would <laughs> just, not, I don't, I love cilantro. So you can taste it and you actually have to produce something to be able to taste it. So it's just for anyone else to understand. Don't force those people. Don't try to, oh no, you'll love it. You'll love it. You know, it, some people are texture orientated, some are not. I can drink something while chewing at something at the same time. Just me. I can taste pretty much most bitterness um i can handle it but there are some things that i can't do that someone can be like oh this is amazing we have different taste buds we have different uniquenesses and that's the whole point so i feel people you know where you're at you're gonna instantly know if you want or not if you've had already you know where you're at uh anybody else i mean the best way to travel is through hazies hazies just definitely carry a good spectrum without overwhelming you um once you just go into straight ipas you can I definitely had a few of them that just slapped me across the face. Anyways, that's the point of that long ranting. So, I don't know, there's like a challenge that's like going on. It says, can you talk without messing up? I talk all the time, and if you haven't noticed. <laughs> so, anyways, now we're going to go on this. This is a uh, hazy. I went on it. Great Divide, Colorado, yada, yada, yada. These are things that you can use, utilize, understand, comprehend, feel, breathe, all that, etc. So, as I go on. So, it's juicy for a hazy, because hazies can be very dry, so uh, you can get some of the bitterness, but not, not, not really the bitterness itself, but just enough aroma that would make you understand a little bit of what you're getting into. Sometimes it has nothing off the nose, and then boom, you're in deep. Happens. Sometimes it's not enough on the nose, and it's not bad. Or there's a lot, and then you get... Mm. So, don't anticipate. Really just go... Am I gonna have a beautiful malt? This malt is not super heavy. The hops are definitely present. They're, they're vibrant, they're almost tropical. You know, they have a lot of things going on. So I'm expecting a good amount of bitterness and uh, hopefully a little fruitiness. Not, not a lot, because if you expect too much fruitiness and you get bitter, that's when it hits, for some reason, your brain is a powerful tool. It will make it worse. So just go, okay, a little bit, a little bit. Because then if you get more, you're like, oh, there's more than I thought. That just goes okay with your mind. Your mind will gladly accept that. The other way around, <coughs> can ruin it. A lot of people, I feel bad when they drink something, try something, eat something, they go blah. That already means their brain said, no, that's it. Can't change your mind. Can't give them a second chance. They might never touch it again. You just ruin the moment. So just say, hey, this is again, I try, but then I'll still get a small percentage of people like you're talking to them. It's going in here, but it's not really going in here. And uh, yeah, walk away, walk away. Mm. Yep, low dry, very minimal fruitiness. So the bouquet was more than this. It's almost like a, a dry orange dreamsicle because there's citrus notes. There's that beautiful malt, almost cream from the the, how the grains itself do release starches. Uh, most of it gets consumed because a lot of it's sugars, simple sugars, but a little bit more complex ones can linger longer and stay in there. And as you get your beautiful malt complexities, uh, it's just the nature of the beast. Um, there are some things that don't get eaten up by um, by yeast, 
So I know like lactose proteins that are or sugars, sorry, which just have the lactic protein attached to it, can't get don't get consumed by these on average. There might be a couple that can, but the ones they use haven't done it. So um, you leave it in there and it's still sugar, but because of the protein it's protected, so the yeast doesn't touch it, but it touches your tongue and you get this explosion of sweetness. Very amazing stuff. This one though, definitely the sugars got eaten. Some beautiful proteins got left behind from the starches. And even a very light cream feel. There's enough citrusy from it, but there's a little grassiness to it. So it would be like you're outside near, uh, in a grassy field, near orange trees or orange blossoms. Maybe blossoms that are, had already bloomed. They're not as sweet and fragrant. Um, flowers do have some smell, but it's not as intense as you think it is. Because in insect world, <laughs> insect world, they don't do things we do. <laughs> they don't have, well, they, they know what they want, they need, they go for it, they can smell it. We're so used to intense, complex smells that we developed that are all man-made that you might, it's like, oh, that's it, that's all. Yeah, it was fine for a long time. And so we made it very difficult to understand those simple, beautiful smells were all you needed in nature. So anyways, with that being said, just know that it might not seem like it. If you wanna compare it to a fragrance that's released by a company, they're concentrated in it, concentrated to a viscous substance, super thick. And then from that, they'll take a little bit and they stretch it out a little bit to keep a very strong smell. So we are getting still as a magnification of a scent aroma up to a thousand, probably more. Whereas a watermelon, if you compare it side by side, the candy smells more like watermelon, but the watermelon still tastes more like watermelon. Go figure. So your nose is a very big part of it. It can benefit you or it can hurt you. For artificial, as soon as the nose is cut off, you block it, you lose a lot of flavor. The actual fruits, the way they're made, it's natural, it's within the whole plant. Like I said in my last video, even if you cut it off, you can still get a good remnants of what's left over or an idea because it's actually in the fruit. Whereas anything you get by candy, it's just injected in there, mixed up, and split, spit out. Anyways, with all that, when you're getting this beer, you're gonna get a smack, the grassiness, there is citrus notes in it, you gotta go in there. The malt comes through, has a little slight creaminess to it. Overall, this is a beautiful hazy, it's not super dry, has a lot going on, but it's definitely savory, and it's not gonna be super sweet. So anybody that's not a big sweet tooth that doesn't want those ones that have too much juiciness, too much fruitiness, this would be it. Bam. All right, there you go. Hopefully that helps you. I like it, but in, in, again, in a, in a nutshell, just, I've been enjoying way too many IPAs and pills, so I've actually been meeting more people that don't enjoy them or can't have them. I think they get heartburn and stuff. So I'm really trying to find beers I can hang with them and have a couple with. So I like talking, you know, they're really good people of quality. I'm trying to understand and hang out and do my best and just, you know, I might not be best as a friend, but we can hang out and have a good time. And it's just great social hanging out. And right now, you don't get much of that. So whatever time you do have, enjoy it, embrace it. Have a pint over it. A glass of wine, you do none of that, good. Talk, hang out, see the sun. Don't look directly at it. Just enjoy your outdoor time. Anyways, thank you for watching. Hopefully this helped you decide if you want to see the can again, here it is. It's a beautiful design, I like it. It stands out, beautiful colors. Overall, great beer. And I hope you enjoy yourself and have a great night.